Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting today's card by die cutting this W plus 9 heart border die five times out of a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to be coloring these with my twinkling H2O's. So I am starting with the summer breeze green color. And I'm just adding a little bit of water into each of these pots of watercolor. And these are cool watercolors because they have that twinkling shimmer look to them. So the next color I'm using is the chiffon pink. And I'm using the springtime set so you get all five of these colors. This color is the bashful blue. Next up is the yellow buttercup. And then the final purple color is called Plum Blossom. And one thing that you want to do when you use these Twinkling H2Os, make sure that the watercolor is completely dry in the pot before you put the cover back on. Because otherwise, they'll create an airtight seal and you won't be able to get them back open. <laughs> so you're probably going to want to use them again. So just to make sure that you don't have any problems, make sure that all of that watercolor within the little container is completely dried before you put the cover on. So I let these sit for a few hours after I was done using them. So I went ahead and adhered down all of these hearts onto a piece of gray cardstock. You, I used my Xyron sticker maker so that they were completely flat on there and they didn't curl up or anything like that. So I'm using this Thanks die from Paper Smooches. And I'm just lining it up onto my cardstock and then I'm going to die cut this in my cuddle bug. You want to run it through a few times since it's going through a couple layers. That way you won't have any problems trying to pop it out. So once I got that out of that cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and adhere down the entire gray background onto my white A2 size card base. I want to make sure I get enough adhesive on all of those little pieces so I just kind of went over that thanks part because I'm going to be adhering it down my thanks die back into there so I'm doing a little bit of inlaid die cutting you'll be able to see um, how I do that in just a minute so I die cut that thanks die also out of a piece of black cardstock and I'm just going to put some adhesive using my multi matte medium on the back of that. So I'm just filling in some of the little areas in my thanks background that didn't get any of that ATG gun adhesive across it. And then I can go ahead and place that thanks die right into there. So it fits perfectly. And you just want to make sure that all of those little areas are adhered down. And then I'm going to fill in all of those little areas with the die cut pieces so you can see how I adhered them all back in there. Next I'm taking this Blossom sequin mix from Mint Owl Studio and I'm going to adhere a few of these sequins onto the background. I'm not using any of the butterflies in this mix but the colors match perfectly with that pastel background. So there's green, pink, and yellow sequins. And I'm just scattering those about on my card. And then I'll go ahead and adhere them down with my multi matte medium. And then the last step, I'm going to really make that thanks die cut stand out on my card. So I am going to be covering this with the clear irresistible. Now if you haven't used this product before, it's a little bit like glossy accents, but it has shimmer in it. So it's kind of like glossy accents and wink of Stella mixed except it's a lot more liquidy than the glossy accents. You really have to be careful when you're using this. The nice thing though is that it does have that fine pointed tip so it's easy to get into those smaller areas. Remember that all of the supplies I used on this card are linked below if you're interested in any of them. And I thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you all back here next time. Bye everyone.